how's it going? It's Tyler Casey from Tyler Casey Productions. Today I'm going to be going over how to make an Instagram banner or Instagram promo, whatever you want to call it. Something that looks like this. <laughs> Basically, it's just a quick gist of your music video or video and kind of fits the format of Instagram with the one by one ratio. So how we're gonna start out is first, we're gonna come into Photoshop. All right, so we're gonna create a new um, document in Photoshop and let's go pixels. Um, let's go 900 by 900, or it's got me at 1400 by 1400, the 900 resolution, this should be good. So then we're gonna create that and then we get a nice looking square here. Then we're gonna go back into Premiere my music video is done. I have it exported. I could also just go like this. I can import that. So you could import your actual music video and you can drag it into a new sequence. So look at that. We have the music video all done right there. Let me mute that. And now what I usually do is I go through and I find some nice still images. So right here, I'm just using my arrow keys to kind of move around. Let's say I like that. I'm going to go ahead and click this little camera button right here that's going to take a screenshot for me uh, and then you want to choose where you want to put this so we're in his folder I want to make a new folder I'm going to type promo boom enter and then we're going to save that in there so I don't know usually I grab about four to eight images just to choose around from so let's get this car scene so there's some effects on that all right let's say we want to use that car right there we go boom and then now we're already in the folder. We're all set, we click OK. Um, let's grab a couple more here, boom. Let's see if we find any cool like establishing shots or any other B-roll we could put in. What do we got, what do we got? Um, let's put that microphone. There we go, microphone, boom. Let's grab one more. It's always good to have a, that's got the title, let's do that. And right before we leave, let's screenshot something, just a black screen right here. So let me make this thumbnail size. And then I believe this is the black screen, awesome. So we're gonna grab that black screen. We're gonna go into Photoshop with our preset thing. We're gonna hold Command or Control and Shift at the same time and let go. What that does is that puts us right in the bottom or right in the center of the frame. So right here, I'm just gonna double click. I'm gonna type video layer. So this is where your banners are gonna go and this is where your video plays. Now let's pull up the video. Let's, uh, let's grab this image first. Press enter to get that out of there. Boom, let's drag it under. Grab the wrong layer. All right, let's put this on top for now. Um, Awesome. Let's drag this below. And then now we can actually put it under the layer. It should be good. Look at that. Awesome. You can hold, you can pre compress control T or command T and hold shift when you scale your image up. So let's say I want the microphone here at the bottom. Boom. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. You can do whatever you want. All right. And then let's grab another image. Let's grab this. All right, that's cool. Let's let's do that. A little bit of white. So what we're gonna do with that is basically I'm gonna grab. Let's do this image. Cool. Look at that. We're gonna hold Control. Like when we came in, make sure you hold Shift because if you don't hold Shift, you're gonna get weird looking images like that, and people are gonna know you're the worst graphic designer in the world. Um, so I'm gonna see. I messed up right here. Uh, if you need to undo something, history's right here in Photoshop. But I'm just gonna delete this and drag this back in because I messed up. Cool. So hold shift, look at that. Nice and scaled. That's what you want. So let's just say I want his hand. Let's just do his hand like that, boom. So now I'm gonna teach you how to combine these two shots. So basically, we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna click this button right here. This is a mask. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna click the gradient tool if you don't see it. It's under the paint bucket. Hold your finger down on there. Boom. 
Now I'm gonna hold shift again, it's all about the shift button. Oh, look, we went the wrong way. And you just draw a little line. And you just keep playing with it until you like it. That was pretty good right there. Let's make it a little, a little more dramatic. I don't really want the steering wheel. You can do all sorts of angles and whatnot. You can get really creative with this. All right, so to do text, we're just gonna draw this. My font's really big right now. I'm gonna do BB's new. Bebus, Bebus, I don't know how to say that. A lot of people use that font, so. FK. Enter. Where am I at? I put it like way down here. So to fix that, I'm just gonna get that. There we go. Awesome. Get that G out of there. All right, cool. So let's say we have that right there. And then it's always good to add a little drop shadow. Uh, bring the distance down. You play with this, make it look how you want. That looks cool. Then always when you're a director, you're gonna put directed by Tyler Casey or Michael Bay. I don't know if Michael Bay does Instagram promos. He probably doesn't need to. All right, cool. So that looks cool. I like that. You guys like that? It's not my best, but it's not my worst. We're gonna save as, uh, we're just gonna save it as here. We're gonna name this as FK underscore promo. Boom. Awesome, so that's saved. Now we're gonna go back into Premiere. We have our finished video on a layer. Boom. So now we're gonna double click uh, we're gonna enter the FK promo. I'm gonna put the old one I did because that one put a little more work into that one. So we'll use that. Now what I do is we drag that in. We're gonna stretch it out. This is on a 1080p timeline. Then I'm gonna right click, scale to frame size. Boom, look at that. So we can't see the video. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this up on top. I have this, and look at that. So we can't see it. So what I do is I usually type in 56.5. I think that gets it to fit. I think you still see a little bit of white. So we could do like 56.6. And there we go. There's our video. Let's turn on the sound. Let's hear the sound. All right, there's our video with the song playing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And export, control M, command M, boom. And usually I just do H264, um, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. You could do maximum depth if you want to. It's Instagram, it's not that big of a deal. Um, pass, you could do like 20, 20, that's fine. And then just save it where you want to go. FK, it's in the right folder, save, boom, export. And then it should be on Instagram. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you guys want to see any more videos and want to know how to do some stuff, just let me know. Thanks. Thanks.